Hello everyone and hello Glory! Today we are going to be doing an unboxing video. Now granted the, the unboxing for this is going to be for something a little bit controversial. If you have read the title you already know what it's going to be. Uh, this is uh, the Explorers Edition of No Man's Sky that um, I got at AIM8Bit.com uh, back around May. It was either... I, I want to say it was somewhere around May or April, somewhere around there. Um, that's when I uh, did the pre-order for this. I also did the uh, pre-order for the Adventures Edition as well, the uh, PS4 Adventures Edition. But I also wanted to get the uh, the PC Explorers Edition from IM8Bit because it had some really cool stuff in there. Honestly, even with the controversy of the game, I... Uh, this this stuff alone is pre pretty good. <laughs> uh, at least from what it looks like. I haven't actually gotten a chance to look at it yet because we got the box. And as any good unboxing video does, you got to have a pretty over-exaggerated knife of some sort. So this is going to be our exaggerated knife of the day. And so let's go ahead and open you up. Yeah, I haven't actually opened it up, so I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what everything in there is going to be like. Ah, if I can get it cut. I am not an expert unboxer. Uh, I mean, I've unboxed a lot of things, but I haven't actually recorded unboxing them. So usually I'm a little bit more haphazard when it comes to this. This, So I tend to get them uh, open a little bit more easy. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if easily is the right word. But I'm not as hard pressed to get it open. So now we have it open. And here is our first look at the Explorers Edition. Yeah, it just, it's just bubble wrap on top. <laughs> but all right. Let me uh, remove that. Um, now, No Man's Sky, of course, has been pretty has been a pretty controversial game of 2000. It might have been the controversial game of uh 2016 i mean there are some there are some contenders in there uh for being highly controversial as far as uh what was promised and what was released and that sort of stuff but this this one i think took the cake because of all the hype that went into it and all the letdown that went into it um uh, but I played the game. I played it. I haven't played the PC version. I've played the, um, which this came with the Steam code uh, for the PC edition. Yeah, for the PC uh, through Steam. Uh, you can choose from Steam or GOG uh, if you're still interested in buying it. I, it's still $149.99. Uh, I will put a link down in the description to if you want to go check it out, see if you like it. Honestly, the item itself without the game is pretty much worth, uh, or not just the item, but all the items that it includes are pretty much worth the $150, uh, even without the game. So the game is kind of like an added bonus, however you feel about game, but the item itself from the pictures from when I ordered it are really cool and seem like really worth the investment. And I can already tell it's kind of heavy. It's uh, wrapped in this uh, wax paper. Oh, it's starting to tear. The wax paper's starting to tear up at the top, so... All right. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. It's almost like Christmas! Again. But yeah, so y'all are going to get the... Uh, y'all are going to get the first look. Yes, and that is a tin replica... Of, um, let's see. Yeah, it's a hand painted cast metal shipwreck replica, 135th scale, with decals for customization. Yeah, so that's the, that's gonna be the first thing. You can also see the hard enamel traveler pin, uh, the diorama display backdrop in the back behind it. Uh, let me see. Can you see it from in here? No. Uh, you can't see it in here, but uh, I'm going to be uh, giving it a better better look in a better setup. Uh, I still don't have my desk in, so I'm going to be setting this up in a different location. 
Uh, I actually have a uh, couple new toys, quote unquote, to play with that is going to allow me to be a little bit more versatile in where I can record. So, um, yeah, the two other items that came in with it is uh, also a Atlas Traveler's Log, which is basically a journal, a small little journal, as well as a Fisher Space Pen. So, yeah, uh, once again, this is a uh, $149. $149.99 on im8bit.com. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way, as always, not sponsored. Uh, do want to definitely put that out there. This is something I purchased with my own money because I thought it was cool. And let me actually get a real good look. Oh, my God. That is that is freaking gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Holy crap. But, all right. I'm going to cut here and... Uh, I'll be back in, well, for you, it's pretty much going to be like that, but I, I got to get, go get set up in another room and get a couple things set up together so I can actually kind of display everything that came with this box. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing to mention is that, where is it? Uh, this is a limited edition of 10,000. Uh, I'm not sure. Supposedly it has, I think it has a number on it somewhere. Um, I'll be right back as soon as I find that. Yeah, so I couldn't find where it is numbered on here. So I'm assuming it's either going to be numbered on the, uh, actual spaceship bottom or something like that itself, or it's ugh, trying to see, make sure I have it in frame, um, or to check to see, uh, I don't know. I'm going to also check to see if uh, if it says on the website where it's if to make sure it's supposed to actually be numbered. Uh, but yeah, next time you see it, see me, I'll be back in with the other setup for uh, analyzing, all, looking at everything individually. So, be right back. All right, and we are back, and once again, we have the box with everything still inside. Just wanted to give you all a quick. 360 view of that the box and everything before uh, move on to the next uh, next part of it which is going to be uh, it actually being open so yeah there's a 360 of that also of course top and bottom not really much information uh, not really much information down there uh, it does have instructions and information for the uh, um, zero G pen, uh, that comes with it. Uh, <clears throat> but all right. So now we're going to go, go ahead and open this up and take the stuff out and twirl, twirl it around for y'all. So y'all can see. All right. But all right, here is the uh, ship and everything uh, fully put together. Uh, I didn't put any of the decals on. I really don't want to put any of the decals on uh, just because um, I like it this way. Um, and once again, this is not like one of your vinyl type figures. Um, this is actual metal. Uh, I tried to... Uh, I don't know how well that's coming across. Let's see. Let's try using the pen. I right, you can kind of hear that. I don't want to do that too much though. <laughs> don't want to accidentally end up uh, doing something, destroying it or something. Um, I believe it is ten. This is a uh, ten. Uh, the metal use was 10 for this. Uh, I didn't see any markings uh, showing what number out of 10,000 it was, so I don't think that there was a uh, a numbered system like that. It's just that there are 10,000 of it, which kind of kind of stinks a little bit because I always I always like the uh, numbered editions better whenever it's a collector's item and it's, you know, they tell you there's a certain number of them. I always like it if they have like what number out of what number granted that kind of makes them all of equal value, uh, inside the box. But at the same time, it just, I don't know. It's, it's one of those collector type things where if you have a numbered item and it's a lower number, well, just being numbered is just feels cooler anyways. But if you have a, a lower number, it just makes it feel that much more uh, valuable 
as a collector and it's actually in to an extent eh, well more valuable just in general as well if you ever planned on selling it but um you a lot of the stuff that i collect i do not have intentions on selling it's just one of those kind of pride type things but uh here's everything that uh came in with the no man's sky uh, explorers edition minus steam code because that that was uh, sent by email uh, back when uh, the game originally released and uh, all that fun controversy happened with that but we're not here to talk about that today um, the only thing I don't have displayed is the diorama which I can I'm gonna put that up real quick ah just so you can see it I mean the diorama honestly isn't anything that special you can kind of see it. I mean, it's um, you've you've seen the artwork already if you know anything about Ma No Man's Sky. I mean, it's it is beautiful. Um, the only thing I, I'd 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 say about that is uh, this is fitted specifically for the box. However, uh, you're not going to be able to put the full figure with the stand set up like this in the box. Which is kind of sad because I kind of wanted to uh, do something like that because that would have been awesome. But the wingspan is just a little too big. In fact, uh, right here, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, 360 of it just so you can kind of get a good look of it all the way around. Yeah, thankfully, um, I was able to procure this thing uh, before I even realized I knew what I was going to need it for something like this. I actually didn't have any idea what I was going to use this for, but I figured it would be very useful in multiple ways. And yes, it's going to be very useful here in the near future, as well as uh, with multiple other aspects than just unboxings. I feel like this is going to do a, be really great for especially unboxings. But like I said, it's going to be multi you yeah, you, ah, a multi-utility. Here I go with not being able to speak again. Yay, words. Uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, man, it's gorgeous. It really is. And I'm going to get a uh, close-up of the ship as well. Just the ship by itself. And uh, that, that way you can get a better grasp of how it actually actually looks. Maybe from a lower angle. Because, yeah, and of course you have the notebook, the pen, uh, the, uh, whoops, can't really see it at that angle. But yeah, notebook, pen, the decals if you wanted to put those on uh, as pen. And the, uh, that thing, if you're wanting to use that thing at all for it. But, all right, so let me get it set up for the uh, lower angle. And we'll, well, we'll be back in just a sec. All right. And here we have 360 view of the spaceship. Now this, this was, um, as stated many times, I'm pretty sure that I, uh, stated this is hand painted metal casted hand painted that's um and there were 10,000 of these there were 10,000 of these made that means there were 10,000 pieces of metal turned into ship and then individually painstakingly hand painted so no two are exactly alike i mean they're going to for the most part looks similar enough to each other but each one has the brilliant individual strokes of an artist who took the time and patience to put every single little line on there and uh, there's a I mean there's a little bit of like a uh, the way the way that they painted on there you can even see like um, let me see if I can bring it, see it in the camera, but like right 
right around here, right around along here. I don't know if you can tell where I'm pointing. Uh, like right around here. <sighs> Still. Hold on. Okay. Okay, around this area right here. There, you can see like where it looks, where they've tried to age it to make it look like it's been through, you know, like it's been through space, like it's actually been, um, you know, struck by space debris. Well, not necessarily sta space debris, but from entry and ex <clears throat> entry and exit from uh, the um, the atmosphere. Um, you, you can actually see it a little bit better from this side where they, uh, I mean, this thing looks like it has literally uh, flown into space and it has come back out and has been worn and traveled in. And it, it, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I am so, so glad it finally came in. So happy uh, how it turned out to be. Uh, even, even with the game the way it is, this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, ooh, I didn't even see that before. Okay, let's see. Can I get the lighting on this good? Let's see. I might need to move my mic. I didn't even see uh, the turbine stuff. It would probably, probably help if I didn't move the paper into it. Okay. I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. Okay, you see in there those turbines? Oh my gosh, those are that's a gorgeous blue that pops uh, I didn't even notice that before I it might not be much, much to you if you were if you actually sat there in person and saw this um, uh, you would probably be amazed as to how gorgeous this thing actually is and how amazing it is I mean it has some weight to it I mean it is heavy um, I mean it is well made um, and that's why I do a lot of my purchases through I am 8 bit. Once again, I am not sponsored. Just a happy customer. In fact, uh, there's going to be some, once I get things set up, there's going to be a couple more, um, like fully set up. Once I actually have the desk and everything in a proper uh, place to showcase these items, um, do be able to do proper unboxings and whatever, and not just here in my kitchen this for the for 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 the most part this was kind of a test slash i was just too excited not to open this box um just because i had been waiting so long for it uh and once again this was also kind of a test to see how uh, my new laptop was uh going to handle recording for um uh, how my new laptop was going to handle for recording in uh, audio in other uh, locations other than than my room. Uh, so normally I won't be doing these in in the kitchen, <laughs> kitchen slash dining room. Uh, but I also wanted to test out my other uh, my other microphone because uh, j just ignore that. I have the cats locked up front so that they won't uh, intrude. But they're being butts right now. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I, I think I'm just about down here. Yeah. So this was this was all. I was excited to finally see this, uh, as well as I wanted to test out my laptop, my second mic. Uh, know that there are a lot of other awesome, cool things. Uh, on the way and things are being worked on daily um, to try to you know meet my own goals as well as you know to entertain and hope you hope you found this entertaining um, at least and uh, Gloria I hope you uh, thought this was pretty freaking cool also uh, so yeah I guess I'll do it uh, for today uh, I think I would think I was originally going to pop back to my room, but I think this kind of showcases it enough and gives you enough on my idea. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I believe the collector's edition is still for sale. It's $149.99. Um, as well as they have a lot of 
other awesome great stuff on there if you like uh video if you like video game soundtrack vinyls like vinyl records uh they are a great place to shop to find them and you'll press <laughs> If you if you look on there, you'll probably be excited about at least uh, at least some of them. Um, but yeah, so link down in the description if you want to check this out for yourself. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, like I said, it does come with a Steam or GOG uh, code to download. They will email that to you. Whoops, they will e email that to you, and then this will ship as well if you pre-order an item uh just be prepared to wait <laughs> uh there are some sometimes some long waiting times uh for pre uh pre-sale items i guess pre-ordered items that's what i was looking for yeah there there is there can be quite a bit of wait for uh, pre-order items. Like I said, I ordered this back in May, but with everything that they put into it, I mean, it, you kind of had to expect it to take a lot longer uh, than just uh, standard standard stuff because they're, they they do ship quality. Uh, but yeah, so check them out down below. And as always... I hope you have a wonderful day. And I actually, before I leave, also uh, let me know what you thought of this down in the comments. Uh, let me know uh, what you think could be done better uh, for next time. Because as always, I'd like to improve. Uh, that way I am putting out, you know, I feel like this might have been a little bit sloppy. But at the same time, it's my first time doing an unboxing. So I, I don't really know what I'm getting into. But. Yeah, so let me know down below. Uh, if you thought thought I did well, uh, hit that like button, let me know. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, you know. That way you can uh, keep up to date with any time I upload something. Uh, I do have daily Let's Play videos. Uh, I upload those every day. Uh, I th right now, actually I don't know what I'm in... I don't know what is necessarily playing right now as uh, when I upload this. If It's probably still going to be Jotun. So if you want to uh, check out my Let's Play of Jotun, in fact, uh, if if I can figure it out, uh, I'll I'll leave an annotation at the end for uh, for uh, so you can go watch Yot my Jotun Let's Play through. So yeah. All right. So I think that's everything. So... As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!